I'm going to talk about episode 6 of X-Men 97 because after episode 5 left me in despair, it left all of us in a state of despair because, you know, what they did to Gambit. May never get over that. But episode 6, episode 6 was perfection. Episode 6 was a chef's kiss of an episode. And when I was watching it, I kept thinking to myself, this is almost Shakespearean. I mean, Shakespeare's plays are broken down to comedies, histories and tragedies. And episode 6 had all of that. So, when I was watching it, and then we saw Professor X emerge. So he's on Shi'ar. Well, he's with the Shi'ar people. You get that right. He's with the Shi'ar people. He's with his the love of his life, Lilandra. Oh my God, he emerges. He's got his robotic legs. And I was thinking, hold on a second. What exactly happened to Professor X? at the end of the original series because this was 27 years ago when it ended and I was struggling to remember what happened because I'm thinking I don't remember him dying like I don't remember him dying so I have a vague recollection because I'm re-watching X-Men obviously I'm only on season one so I had a vague recollection I think that Lilandra took him up to her people um to save him but I need to double check that you can tell me if I'm right if I'm wrong but I don't think he died like he was in some kind of coma anyway we saw Professor X we saw the true Professor X we saw him at his best we saw his power when he took everyone to the astral plane took them to school to remind them as he said let's talk about power will power you saw it on full display and then we got to move on to this woman Storm I am lightning. Can I just say, the women in this episode, they were killer. They were the boss. They had lyrics. They were the best. And the thing about this whole Storm storyline, it was, you know, she got hit with the energy disruptor, thought she'd lost her powers, all of that. And she's really struggling. And it was really good commentary. One on mental health and two, the stories that we tell ourselves because Storma told herself that she didn't have her powers, that everything was lost. And it was as though she had a big mental block. And I said, it all comes down to mindset. So once she overcame that and she got her powers and she was in her full 1970s outfit. I mean, look at her. Look at her. When she got her full powers, it just reminded me of The Wizard of Oz and Glinda, the good witch, what she says to Dorothy. You always had the power, my dear. Storm always had the power and she showed that full power. But let me get on to my favourite person. <laughs> I've got a point down here. Deathbird. Deathbird had the best lyrics ever. When she said, and I quote, <laughs> I need to get it right. When she said, for you shall be, no, she said, be honoured to fall at my feet, Ronan, for you should be memorialised as the corpse upon which I posed. That had me on the floor. And in fact, she called Earth the Milky Way Ghetto. <laughs> oh my God. That had me on the floor. But Deathbird, she was definitely the MVP, in my opinion. So I can't wait for episode seven. I don't know how I'm going to cope because we haven't got that many episodes left. But tell me what you thought of episode six. Tell me if it kind of made you feel a little bit better about the... Oh, my God, also, when Professor X had that vision of Gambit and then he realised one of his X-Men were dead. No, forget that. Forget love. Forget Lilandro. He had to go back to his X-Men. So Professor X is back. But, yeah, as I said, let me know what your thoughts. Bye.